Hi, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we've got an outdoor project with Sphere Targets. We're going to go through our registration process very quickly here. Um, our opening screen, as you see it, we are going to pre-process scans. We can either use the button right down here on the left or at the top. Grab the button down here and we see we've got no uh, clusters that have, auto been, that have been created manually by uh, anybody here in the office. Uh, we've just got the straight full number of scans. We'll go, we're going to let the software build whatever clusters it may need. So we will choose the top folder and we will go to configure processing. Uh, now we are using a different size sphere, using a 200 millimeter sphere, so we can drop this down and go to the actor sphere radii and make that the correct radii. Um, we're going to look for spheres on the find targets and we're going to perform automatic registration down here at the bottom. Now this is important. We need to go to the registration method because default as seen as set is top view and cloud to cloud. We're looking for a target base because this is a project that is um, in sort of a wide open field. Uh, you cannot use uh, cloud to cloud or top down because there's just not enough geometry and uh, walls or, or shapes around where the scans were conducted to actually do a top down. And when you've got uh, natural surroundings like grass and trees, it makes for uh, cloud to cloud very, very difficult. So we used targets and uh, that's what we're going to make sure and uh, tell the software to look for. Um, we're going to not choose to create scan point clouds. Uh, that's because if we, for some reason, don't get this entire project together and we've got some clusters and some outliers, we're going to want to fix all that before we create the point cloud. And finally, we can colorize the scans uh, due to uh, maybe too much light exposure or not enough. Uh, sometimes it's best to we'll save the colorization for last if we're going to be using scene for any kind of measuring. So we're set to go. We start our pre-processing now. We've got our pre-processing results. And as you can see, we've got every scan except for our very first initial scan that was able to come together. Just take a quick look. Maybe our first scan didn't apply to the rest. And in this case, it does not. The targets are not set up. So we can go ahead and eliminate that scan by just right clicking on it, going down to delete, and it is gone. We will open the cluster, right click and lock the scan manager, <clears throat> then come to the master scan manager, right click, update scans, and just hit OK. Should only take a second. There we go. And as we look through, we want to see the details. We just double click with our left mouse button and we can see our statistics statistics per scan and we now have a solid registered project right click and lock that as well now in order to take a look at what we've got here we'll go to the explore button and as you can see we've only got one of our scans loaded so because there's no project point cloud we will need to load our scans to take a look at it which takes a little time. With all the scan locations now open, all of our scans loaded, you can see the locations of each of the scans. We can open up one at a time, take a look at the project in quick view. We've got power lines. Which is the focus of our scan. Now to go through and colorize our project, since we've now got everything together, 
One of the ways to do it is to go into our settings, switch user interface, which will allow us to then right click on either the cluster or the individual scan. But this is how we would apply the pictures. In this case, there were no there, were, there was no color setting applied. There was no need for it. Uh, so we don't have to worry about it with the project, but that would be the method that you can use to colorize the, the, uh, the scans after they've been registered. Going back into the original new user interface, into our Explore tab, and we can create a project point cloud, which will allow us to uh, use clip boxes and, uh, and other different things to allow us to look at just smaller sections and eliminate data that we don't want to see. The project point cloud is created in just under seven minutes. And now we can unload all the scans, which will make our computer go faster. Right click and a 3D view should give us our entire project. We see we've got quite a bit of interference, a lot of extra data here. So we can just create a clipping box and get rid of a lot of these extra points. I like to go ahead and flip the project and go to this uh, clipping box toolbox over here, do the rotation and get the basic project to be sort of square with our clip box. And there we go. We can get rid of as much or as little data as we want to. And there's your fully registered project using targets in an open area. I hope this helps with anything that you guys have got going on. If you've got any questions, please let us know. We'll help if we can.